When the film begins we see a car stopping in front of a house. A man named David gets out of the car. He is the main character of this film. It is discovered here that David is recently divorced. He just bought a new house. Jessica, his daughter, was also present to assist him. David was very disturbed because things were not going well in his life. His daughter comes to his house to calm and console him. David's funds were completely depleted during the purchase of the home. As a result, he was left penniless and could not buy anything else. For that reason, they were exploring the house. David notices a room and under the door, he finds some money. David hurriedly picks the money bill. He ponders for some time how did this money come here? But ignoring it, he keeps the money. They discover that the previous owners left their expensive and valuable things here. The fridge and oven were also included in them. David thought that they may be in a hurry and forgot their things. It becomes night while they were exploring the whole house and they decide to have dinner. While they were talking, it is discovered that they need money. David tells I will be promoted soon, with it, everything will be perfect and our financial shortfall will also be resolved. Jessica goes to her home and David sleeps in his room. The next day, David calls a landscaper named Alan to repair his backyard. After checking everything, Alan says I will come with my team. Later, David's friend Mark comes to meet him. They drink, enjoy themselves while talking to each other. David starts doing his tasks when his friend leaves. David digs the earth while exploring the backyard. He discovers a massive box there. David removes the dust and finds a lot of money when he opens the box. He also finds a dead body of an old man in it. David gets panicked by seeing it but he cools himself, as he becomes enchanted with money. He takes all the money inside the house. David checks and finds to know that all the bills were real. David becomes very animated. But he also couldn't understand the situation. He also has seen a dead body in the backyard and decides to inform the police, then he again thinks that all the money will also be lost if he informs the police. David makes himself understand for not doing it. Later he sleeps, but at midnight he hears someone's foot sounds as if someone is walking in the house. When he checks, he finds none. The next day, David goes to his office. He inquires his friend about the money. He says, my uncle has $2 million. Can I deposit that money in the bank? His friend forbids and says, if you deposit the money in the bank, everyone will ask from where did you get all the money? Hearing it, David understands that he has to keep the money hidden. David also doesn't know how much is the money. He decides to count the money. David goes home and counts the money. Then he realizes that it is nearly $3 million. David feels overjoyed to receive that money, and he received more than he expected. He places all the money near the door where he got the money bill at the starting of the movie. Later, David again tries to make himself understand that he is doing right. He also thinks something positive like maybe the old man's family is in search of him. So he should inform the police about this. But his negative side says, maybe that man is a thief. Maybe he has stolen the money. So he should stay calm and keep the money. Here, his negative thinking wins. Who doesn't like the free money? After thinking all this, David sleeps again. He awakes after some time because he was feeling as if someone is walking in his house. He goes towards the kitchen with a baseball bat. He finds the backyard door open. When he checks, he sees none. David dismisses it as his imagination and starts drinking coffee. Suddenly, a cat arrives there. He gets scared. As a result, the cup falls down and breaks. Here David gets very scared. He again checks the money after some time and finds money safe. When he turns off the light to sleep, he notices the old man's ghost at the window. David gets scared seeing the old man. He goes to the backyard immediately. There he notices that he forgot to put the dust in the massive box. He finds the old man when he opens the box. There he finds dust on his foot and David gets suspicious seeing it, maybe that man is still alive, he checks the man properly. The man is dead in reality, then David sleeps again. David loses attention in his job due to this situation, his boss also gets angry due to it. Actually, David dedicated total attention to the money and the dead man. His promotion was also not confirmed due to it. 
Later, David notices someone's footprints when he comes home. He thinks they may be his own footprints. When he checks carefully, he finds that shoe prints belong to someone else. He thinks maybe a thief intruded in the house, he again checks the money. Again he finds that the money was intact. Later, David decides to tell everything about the money to his daughter Jessica. He calls her for a meet. David thinks again when they meet, like what's the guarantee that she will not tell anyone? So David changes his intention and talks to her about all other things. He returns home. Now David just thinks about money every minute. When he was brushing his teeth at night, he felt like someone was moving in the backyard. He sees from the window but discovers none. But when he again sees carefully he notices that the tree's branches were moving. David gets scared and worried seeing that. He decides to put the money back into the box, and bury it. Because he was feeling that the dead body was irritating him because of the money. David closes the box while putting the money in the box. David still wasn't satisfied, now he thinks about the room where he finds the money bill. Now David tries to open the room, but the door is locked. He thinks maybe the old man has that room's key. He again opens the box the next morning, checks the old man. He finds a key and a wallet from his pocket, these were the same keys of the door. When David goes to sleep at night. The dead man comes out and says in a horrible voice, hello. Suddenly he awakes but he realizes it was his dream. David becomes worried due to the whole situation. He decides to fix cameras in his house. He takes some money from that box and goes to a shop for buying cameras. He fixes the cameras in the house. Now it was the turn of the secret door. David opens that door and there he sees a basement, when he checks, he finds something wrapped. David removes the dust on it, he notices a dead body of a boy, there he also sees five more dead bodies like that. Seeing it, David gets panicked and scared. On the positive side, he decides to call the police, but he is afraid of losing all the money this time. So he sleeps peacefully but at midnight he hears someone's voice. Because there were cameras in his house he awakes and checks the footage, there he sees the dead man. He was standing near the basement door. David gets confirmed that the dead man is doing all this, David goes there to kill him but the dead man wasn't there. While David was going to the backyard, unfortunately, the broken pieces of the cup pierce his foot. He somehow reaches the box, when he opens the box he finds the old man there itself, David holds the man in anger and says, stop playing with me. Are you doing a prank with me? Stop your drama otherwise it will be bad for you and I know that you are alive. Then David asks the old man to wake up. The old man doesn't give any response as he was already dead. David feels very frustrated and loses his senses as a result he faints there itself. The next morning, when he wakes up he finds himself with the old man's dead body. He comes inside the house and gets ready to go to the office. He notices the old man coming towards him. David gets off the car and tries to stop him. The dead man again goes into the box, when he notices David coming towards him. David again goes to him and says while holding him, I know you're alive, stop pranking with me, but the old man doesn't say anything. Sensing danger, David separates his feet with a chainsaw. Now the dead man couldn't walk. Later, David goes to his office, it appears as if he is losing his mental balance because of his situation in the house. His getup was very dirty. There were bloodstains on his neck and clothes. His boss becomes angry while seeing his condition, he says, in what condition you are? Is this the way to come to the office? David also argues with his boss. As a result, he loses his job. Later, David returns home, but the landscaper Alan was present before his arrival. He sees everything, as David forgot to close that box. As David reaches Alan, he insists that he will call the police. Even before he calls the police, David hits his head and makes him faint. He hits him until he dies. David wraps that dead body and takes it to the basement. David says while looking in the mirror, I have done wrong. This time, his negative side was saying to him, he has done right. Because he was feeling that Alan came to steal his money. He has done a great job killing him. After it, David comforts himself and sleeps again. David's friend Mark calls him repeatedly, but he does not answer. Then the alarm rings again and David checks the recordings. 
He notices the dead man in the kitchen and David goes downstairs with his baseball bat. But there he finds Mark, not the dead man, he came to meet David. While considering him as the dead man, David attacks him brutally. He starts beating him with a baseball bat. After it, he takes out his eyes with a drill machine. Later he takes his dead body into the basement after rapping. He was very scared of losing his money. He decides to bring the money back into his house from the box. Later, he does the same and comes inside the home with all the money. By seeing David's condition it is clear that he is losing his mental balance. He behaves strangely with the money. He feels as if they are alive, he plays games and talks with the money. He also watches the TV with the money. He even sleeps with the money. Time just passed in that manner. One day someone arrives at his door, actually, he was Jessica's friend Zach. Seeing him, David thinks maybe he is here to steal his money. He also makes him faint while hitting him with the baseball bat, he also takes him to the basement after rapping. But this time he was rapping an alive person. Jessica arrives there after some time, as she was David's daughter, he could not kill her. His passion for money was dancing on him. So he doesn't end Jessica but takes her to the basement. And says, your friend is there. Jessica gets shocked seeing her friend's condition. She finds Zach wrapped. Meanwhile, David hits and faints Jessica. He ties her there. David orders her, tell me when everyone will reach here. Actually, David was feeling that they have come here to steal his money. As a result, he was killing everyone, one by one. Jessica couldn't understand anything he was referring to. David comes upstairs leaving her. He looks into the mirror after being fully dressed. He thinks everything is happening because of the money. He decides to burn the money. But he couldn't do this. Because money was everything for him, more than his life. As a result, he doesn't burn them. David gets an idea. He goes to the backyard with the money and places them in that box, he also gets buried alive in the box. Here, one thing is clear about how the old man got into that box. The old man has also done the same like this as he was also greedy for money. He also got the money in the same way. He too was terrified of losing the money. He would also be thinking, maybe someone was about to steal his money. Same as David felt. For this reason, the old man killed his whole family. The dead bodies that were discovered belonged to the old man's family. Following that, the old man has also buried himself with the money, same as David.